The experience itself is, is pretty magical. You need the right kit and equipment to facilitate that experience. What you don't want to be worrying about is sort of, am I going to be too cold or is this going to break? They're the sort of things that you want to be able to park when you leave the tent. When you look at it in the store, you'll go, that's a mighty piece, right? It, it, there's a lot to it. it. It feels substantial in a Himalayan environment. That's what you require. So that's what you have. With the Apex 8000, we worked with three athletes over a period of 20 months. You can tell the difference between products that have an athlete input, definitely. That's the pattern lay for the jacket. And then this is explaining fabric technologies. So the yellow panel on the back there in terms of the energy output in various different uh, temperatures. During such a long uh, process working with athletes and climate chambers, you generate a lot of knowledge on the athletes' needs and wants, um, various issues that arise in the product um, that can filter down and apply to every other product. What was interesting with the climate chamber here, Keith actually tested these as well. And the climate chamber is invaluable to make sure that the athlete is warm enough in the chosen environment. We'll put that bit in there. And then these sensors will measure temperature and humidity. Generally the design team understood what the product was, but there's these tiny little finite things that you only get from wearing it in this in this environment. For me, like the hood and like the neck bit is really important so you can get zipped in and feel uh, like snug and properly kind of safe in there. And I think that took a few trials to get that to where it is now. And also the cuffs, I'm so delighted because the cuff system that we've ended with was something that I brought up in the first meeting and that's transferred through into the final product which is really cool. Keeping this sort of section, this transition between sort of arm and glove uh, is really important and, and this sort of seals that up. Well we continued the development until the product was ready. Uh, we could have launched it 12 months earlier but the product wasn't right so we persevered to make sure that it was the best it possibly could be. I think um, a suit like this represents Montaigne in terms of having the same kind of aspirational intention. It allows people to achieve their goals in extreme environments in a light and fast way. For, for me, it kind of stands for everything Montaigne stands for.